Okay, class. We um, we've talked about doing some image adjustment, image correction using the image adjustment menu, and then choosing this first group. Um, now, one thing about these is they are all destructive, and what I mean by that is they actually are going to alter the pixels in the image. But there is a non-destructive way to do this, and I'm going to show that to you now. Um, what, what I've taught you before is to create a duplicate of your background, and, and that allows us to work non-destructively in, in one way, but, but this method, uh, you won't have to duplicate your background at all. And that is by using um, adjustment layers, and those are located in the lower right on the layer palette. Okay, so I've got my background here, and I click on my um, this little circle at the bottom, black and white circle, and I get a number of selections here, okay, a number of options. And we want to specifically look at these four levels, curves, color balance, brightness, and contrast. Okay, so I'm going to do a number of things to this image, and I'm going to start out first with my levels. And you see we get the histogram here. Uh, and in this histogram I can see that the image is primarily underexposed. It's, it's too dark, all right? Um, my histogram, the black line doesn't quite go to the end, so I'm going to pull that in some and bring my white level up. Black looks good, of course, but I do need to bring some of the grays out and brighten the image up a little bit. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to get too washed out. So you do have to be cautious about this. Just take your time, adjust it, and get it where you want it, and click OK. Now, the nice thing about using an adjustment layer is um, I can come back and, and adjust it again and uh, just double click right on this little icon here that has the histogram in it. Double click, and that'll open up my levels again, and everything is set exactly where I set it before. So I'm not redoing it, reapplying it, I'm just readjusting it. Um, so I can darken the image a little bit more and then click OK. And now we'll go back down and do another one. Okay, so that was levels. This is curves. We're going to do a little bit of curve action here. And typically you might use one or the other, but I'm going to use both just for the demo, sake of the demo. And everything's quite a bit brighter. Image is looking better. Let me pull my highlights down some here. Uh, let me try auto. Okay, auto looks pretty good. I'll go with auto in this instance. And I might come in and pull this up and down. Brighten just a little bit more. Okay, so again we've got curves, levels. Come back again, another adjustment layer. Color balance, a lot of green here. Again, mostly mid-tones in this image, lots of mid-tones and darks. I'm just going to pull slightly away from my green and warm it up a little bit. Maybe do that in my highlights as well. And just warm it up some. Bring a little bit of yellow in. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we'll preserve luminosity here. That'll keep the contrast overall more consistent. Click OK. Alright, so we've applied three different um, adjustment layers. Very handy, non-destructive. And I can turn each one of them off. Okay, you can see with the color balance off, you can see a lot more of the green with it on. It's much warmer overall. I'll leave that off. I'll turn off the curves. Sort of uh, has a gray cast to it. Um, levels, really, really too dark. So with these on, everything looks much better. Now if I want to turn them all off uh, to check it just at one swoop, one swoop, I can just hold the Option key down on the, my keyboard, hover over the eyeball on my background image and click, and all of the layers turn off. All of the layers turn back on when I click again. Okay, holding the Option key down. Very simple correction, and I have not damaged any of my pixels. Everything um, is still adjustable. 
from the very beginning of the image. So very the adjustments. Now remember, we are trying to create photographs that are true representations of a situation right now. We're trying to get the best, the most accurate representation of the image we can. So uh, try to keep it to true color. Don't push anything too far. Um, we don't want to introduce any uh, unbelievable color at this at this point. Hope this is uh, handy for you.